47 and back here in Southeast Louisiana, Jim, we're dealing with some cold temperatures. Yeah, I saw a lot of people early this morning. They had the hoodies with the jacket and they're walking hunched over. That's how cold it is this morning. We're close to freezing in a lot of locations and we're still seeing these temperatures drop. Still have about another hour and a half or so to maybe get into the 20s on the North Shore. Bogalusa down to 31 right now, 32 the temperature in Hammond. I thought we'd be a little closer to 40 in the metro area. And yes, at the lakefront at the airport, we're significantly warmer, but Bell Chase at 35, Homa at 39. Cold no matter where you are first thing this morning. Here are your current conditions at Louis Armstrong International Airport. 49 degrees, the warmer temperature there. But we have a northerly wind at six miles per hour. And generally when the wind is from the north, that signals that things are gonna be cold. Yes, it's gonna be cold this morning and again tomorrow morning. But the afternoon today is going to be great. Here's high pressure settling in almost directly on top of us. As that happens, your winds are usually on the lighter side. Over the next couple of days, this high is going to slide to the east and bring us a bit of a wind shift. So a warming trend really kicks in for us tomorrow afternoon. But there's a lot of cold air out there right now. Temperatures well below freezing in places like Dallas. There are 20. They could get down into the teens in Dallas, 32 in Houston. Uh, 25 the current temperature in Shreveport. Morning's going to be cool through tomorrow, but let me show you the computer models over the next couple of days because we're looking great this afternoon. Your high temperature is going to make it to the mid and upper 50s, maybe even close to 60 in a few spots, but you'll notice the absence of cloud cover. Great day today. However, with the clear skies, all the heat that's generated during the day is going to leave us very quickly. Dinner time temperatures right around 50 degrees, but look at how quickly those temperatures fall yet again. Tomorrow morning, could be close to freezing on the North Shore, closer to the low 40s in the metro area. Light wind again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, though, that's when the warming trend kicks in. Look at the winds becoming a little more easterly. High temperatures should make it to the low 60s. And uh, then we're going to see the clouds start to increase a bit for us as we go into Wednesday afternoon. Look at this. Clouds increasing because of a low-pressure system that's going to develop in the Gulf of Mexico. Generally, we think that most of the rain is going to stay to the south of us. Here are the computer models taking you from Thursday to Friday into Saturday when we may see a few showers, but the showers should exit by Sunday. Having said that, here's one other uh, computer model, the European model, which shows us a little bit wetter Friday into Saturday. As of right now, we're just calling for isolated to scattered showers Saturday and a mainly dry day Sunday but we reserve the right to maybe bump that chance for rain up just a little bit if indeed that European model looks like it's going to validate. Sunny skies, less breezy and cool. High temperature in the upper 50s. Real nice afternoon after the cold start today. Clear skies and again cold tonight, close to freezing on the North Shore. And then a cold start with mostly sunny skies tomorrow. That's when the warming trend kicks in. Back to the low to mid 60s for the afternoon high tomorrow. And we're still going to be on the cool side in the morning, Wednesday and Thursday, but the breeze is going to be picking up for us thanks to that area of low pressure developing in the Gulf. So breezy for us Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Right now, a 40% chance for showers Saturday and for Saints Sunday, mostly dry, just a 20% chance for showers. But high temperatures still a little bit below normal all the way through the weekend. That is your WDSU first warning forecast.